You know, this might genuinely be the last episode of this game. There's only have five levels left. And here's like the last image. Final bunny boss. I don't know. So this is showing a mechanic that we've done like way earlier in like almost the first water tutorial. So I don't really know why this is the mechanic, but... Like, why this is the mechanic for the final world. But I guess it's showing the death when a bunny is pushed off the edge. But now it's going to be a main focus of the puzzle mechanic. So, the goal, as always, is to get this number as high as possible, and you design the dungeon around it. So, I could easily add more bunnies to waste more time, and now it's 7 moves as my current high score. We could, like, put more, but, like, that's also not that great. I, I think this is just, like, bunny conveyor belt or something stupid like that. Also, it's sometimes not possible. There's like, what the bunnies like duplicate into each other, and then you'll never have a path for the player character to reach that carrot. So, I assume our chain of okay. So I kind of understand maybe what this level actually is going to look like, and it's just this massive chain of water effective conveyor belts. Although, don't the bunnies also have their own autonomous movement? So this can't be as long as you hope. Hmm. So, I'm like, I'm using the bunny test button to look at how this bunny moves. Oops, don't do that. And I want this bunny to go here. Oh, it, it, it will not try to go off the edge of it. Yeah, okay. Uh, but something like this. Okay. Now is the spaghetti part. We're gonna have to dump a ton of these. Actually, they have to face down. I guess, like, these have to face down. And I have to make them not duplicate. Otherwise, there's gonna be a gap in the bunnies, and that's not good. Like, this one needs to go here, I guess. I also, I don't know why one of them is, like, merging with the other. Oh, God, do they, do they need to be spaced out? Because that's worse if they do. Hmm. Okay, I guess this is not going to work out. See, look at how this, this bunny is, like... It's, it's vertical, but I can't put a conveyor belt down below that bunny. So even though I love the path the top right bunny is taking, like, it's, it's doing a lot of efficient time wasting there. I need to delete all of this and... So make it so that the bunnies that we use are facing left or right. Okay, I've, I've made this and now like it doesn't use the freaking top of the board, but like hey 18 moves now. Okay, we should try to use the top of the board. So fill these don't allow a hole Okay, so now this is 23. I feel like I'm doing something really wrong though like Shouldn't I be doing something like that? That's even better, right? It uses more rows too. Okay, so that's clearly better, and also it, it's- oh, this is already two carrots, so every level is a three carat goal. I like how I'm saying all this in the last video. Okay, like, figuring that, I mean, this is a way better path than- okay, here we go. That's 29, there we go. Three carrots. wonder if you could skip a wall here. There is some stuff about potential walls not being needed, but let's go to the next level. Oh, wow. Wow. It's already not possible, just from that. And bunnies never go off the edge until there's water. This is like a really spaghettifying level. Like we could make the bunnies slowly go off the edge or something. It's not possible still, I guess. Hmm. Interesting that it's not possible. I would have thought that it would be. Well, hold on. Oh, that's 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 why. Because it makes because the bunnies like go into each other and infinitely copy. Like there could be some really long waiting game that we make but it's kind of hard to make. But like, okay, like if you did that, you could stop it, but you would also kind of create an environment where it's too easy to get through. Perhaps if you add these, nope, didn't, doesn't work. And plus there's too many bunnies making new bunnies like that immediately hit other new bunnies because it expands in four directions. So there'll always be issues. Well, doesn't that mean that I have to, like, drastically reduce the bunny count? Uh... Oh, hey, finally, something that actually works. Okay, so, now what? We just change this until it does work? I mean, hmm. So we also want the player character to go and take a long, winding path through this stuff. I'm not sure if the bunnies matter. Like, the bunnies could matter very hard in some levels where their reproductive capability matters. Uh, but it seems like with this level, maybe all it is is just getting them out of the way and they don't add much to the score. Like, actually, if I make this bunny zigzag chain take longer, like, if you just look at the bottom of the level, 
The bunnies are like going in the straight line-ish thing. That adds two more. We need like prevent. What if we do right? Then we'll need to go all the way here. 14. Okay, I mean I could minus one. I could plus one easily with that. I would like to use this right side level, uh, upper right side. Certainly this situation is not the best either, but I wonder if that like causes a cheese? Not really. Because I would like you to have to use this side of the level. So that would be like, up. let's do up down the up down nonsense again. Unfortunately those fill it up, so let's like fill this. Nope, the top sec- oh my god! Let's throw you off. Alright, does this work? Hey, look at that, 18. Um, yeah, these freaking ra rabbits are so stupid going over there. But hey, we technically did it in terms of going to this side of the level. Could cause even more wastage of time doing that, I think. Because then it would have to go down. That's plus one, that's 19 score. Kind of wish going to here wasn't so easy, but that would require undoing the thing that I just did. Like... This is a little too easy. Um, going down, unfortunately, would also cause bunny spam there. Maybe I do that to block it. And then I, I force this walk around. No, this, not, this doesn't work. It's because it gets, it gets stuck over here, dang it. Um, I noticed in this path, this water, like, it, it helps the guy go up. So how about delete it? And let's see if that does anything. Oh, we seem to be... 20, that's better. I also found this where, like, I moved this stuff over and it's like, this is actually also 20, which is, like, insane how that's also 20. I mean, I guess you get to walk a little more. But, yeah, I mean, now it feels like the left level is not being used. And I can't do that because it would block the... I mean, we, we can't deal with that. You know, what about my previous layout? <laughs> like, couldn't it be better if we did that and then that? So what that would do is, it's the same up until here, and then it has to walk. Doot, 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 doot. And it's not enough. Woo, not enough for the third carrot. You know, we could make the walking even worse if we did this. Because the left side is still blocked. Like, you can't, you have to go here. But then, 22, and it's not enough. Woo. Imagine if there was a bunny reproduction curse thing, and that was, and like the actual max, like 50. Um, maybe here? Oh, it still works! Wait, there's something there, because then there's even more wastage at the very end. Which is not enough, thanks. Also very funny that I can just poke holes here, and I still get 23. Very, very funny. Okay, this is the easily the most unhinged 23. I mo modified some of these freaking waters. Just to poke a hole here, I was hoping that it would take longer to reach by going by doing this. And we have reproducing bunnies that are still in the bottom, but you can just dodge them, I guess. And it's still 23. Let's do a precision poke on this water. Like that was like with that gun, this guy can actually move to the right and actually have to spend a turn moving to the right here instead of getting auto shifted. And that's 24. My gosh. I love how basically a, a normal walk is required in part of that. Okay, that cuts through the middle of the board. All right. All right, next. Oh, nice. We get to place walls, bunnies, and water for a 5x5. Five five, fully customizable nonsense. Okay. What's the lo lowest IQ? Oh, God. Look at how slowly that bar filled up. What in the hell is this going to be? This is gonna look so complicated, isn't it? Well, it's a bunny level, so it might be cursed cycles again. I like how we're using game mechanics that were, like, possible in, like, chapter 5 or 6 or something like that. So, like, the traditional way you would do a bunny level like this is that, if, for example, in a situation like this, the carrot is only available on every one of two cycles, so you would combine that and then, like, something like this, and then now it's, like, a three times two, except we made the cycles too, uh, easy to walk past. But, so, like, ordinarily, these levels are, like, a effectively multiplying the... Like, the numbers are arbitrary, like, you just imagine that you have all these different timing restrictions and you have to multiply them together. With this nonsense, though, I mean, I don't even understand how this helps. Like, I guess you could call that a cycle. 
But will this even make a long enough number or something? And not just take up a ton of space for no reason? There's no way this level is just like a traditional cycle. I think this is even inefficient too. This is 24 uh, and it's got like two cycles. This is a cycle of six times eight, I think. You no, know, regardless, this, this is not going to work. And I feel like I need to use the water knock off the edge just because of this level's placement. Because this is freaking hard and annoying to measure how long a cycle is. I think this one is like... And timing it is frustrating too a little bit, but this I believe is eight cycles to go back to its uh, position. So then we're going to need to fill in something else. Probably fit in a number like seven or nine cycles here. I think it's the bunnies move, which is annoying. Like, they're not stationary hazards. Seven and nine is such weird numbers to hit anyway. So I'm trying to come up with all these different water events, but actually like if you count... This freaking bunny on the right is actually going through another 8 cycle, so it's not anything different. I need them to be different numbers of cycles. I think we've, if we add... So this is currently another 8 cycle, but if I add that, then the amount of time for that bunny to get back is... There, 7 cycles. This sure takes up a lot of freaking room, though. But I think, theoretically, this could get us to like 56, because 7 times 8. Okay, I had to mess with this to make it right, and like... Uh, you can also put a bunny here so that the onion character is forced to actually be in the loop the whole time. Also, this doesn't even hit 56. Also, 56 probably wouldn't even do it anyway. So, uh, I found a 9 times 8 but it's not 9 times 8 because I don't know how to cycle properly. It's 57. You know what? This way is way simpler. Although, I- it's- like, what do you do afterwards? 70? Okay, well, two carrots. Um... Yeah, 76, and that's 9 times 8. <laughs> I don't know why I can fit another, like, nothing, you can't fit anything in this column, can you? Okay, so I've come with this new idea where this is still a 7 cycle, and this is still an 8 cycle, but we have this extra space to play with here. For some reason, only scores freaking 58, though. I'm not sure why it's lower, but as you can see, in 7 moves, it looks like that, and, like, that's the starting position, so it is the 7 cycle. So we have 8, 7. Now we want some, like, 3 in, in this, but... Kind of hard to lock a bunny in a three cycle here. What, what would that even look like? Because this is this is not a three cycle. It's a four cycle. Um, doing this will make it a two cycle, which is not good. So, what about if it was a six instead? Even though the extra times two won't be relevant because there's another eight in here. So this will take eight, uh, no, not eight, uh, six moves to get back in here. And let's see if that does anything. Although, um, maybe it won't, because maybe we need more bunnies to make that work. But it's still 58, so it completely ignored the existence of that bunny there. In fact, if it misses the cycle again, it's just, it's just gonna be stupid. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna put those here instead. Kinda ridiculous to try to plan for a times three. I'm hoping that it hits the times three in the best manner. Yes, okay, it stopped. Okay. There it is. There it is. Wow, it sure looks like a lot's happening in this puzzle, huh? <laughs> Wait, I thought it was going to be just time... St okay, there it is. 170, whatever. Uh, <laughs> honestly, because my, my other one got like 70-ish. It's kind of annoying. It's not closer to 210 or something. But I CBA with this level. And then we got a boss. And in fact, it looks... I mean, we have infinite bunnies to place. We have infinite water to place. I would have one button. Hmm. Why does it look so simple? You can do reproduction stuff, but it will be necessarily timed. Like, this can't be a level with very much going on. Also, for being the second to last level in the game, be sure to use a different background. I don't know. So, seven. And it doesn't fill up much of the bar. Hmm. Uh, there is this trick where... I know there's this trick. Because we've done it as attempts before. Like, it bounce, bounce, bounces. Um, hmm. well, that doesn't use very many bunnies, so that's not going to be good. Like, it could be the bunny down here instead, and we could have a limited location. Apparently, this doesn't work. <laughs> not the way I've done it. This is another multiplication level, isn't it? Well, what if we set up, like, two chains of multiplication? In the sense that, like... Oh, gosh, I don't even know when it works. Because I know it will reproduce. 
eventually. The whole idea is they hit the walls, except you this you can't reproduce them in a corner. That's useless. So this looks like a cycle of six versus a cycle of three, but it's actually going to be one less than that, I think. So it's actually like five times two. Also, there's parity to be annoyed with. Like, for example, this will never, ever hit it because they're in different parities. whole point of the five times two thing, though, is because it's, I think, the maximum that it would time to take would only be 10 and then it would do reproduction and spam bunnies all over and then that would be a way to hit the button later on this is 31 but the water might be there to restrict how far these bunnies can go with the reproduction which would force another potential time consuming location where they have to line up actually because there's water we can actually make these take even longer if you can do that, then shouldn't you just have two water cycles that are as long as possible and make some numbers like 13 times 10 or whatever in terms of cycle length and then not have to do two different cycles? I don't know, maybe that other idea is wor worthwhile, but we'll, we'll try to make a big water chain, I guess, somewhere. It should look like that instead. So this is a 20 cycle. I don't know if that's better. Like if I do this, okay, but that's not going to work very well because I think these are both even numbers. We're going to do some end of cycle wait nonsense. So this is a 29 cycle. Like we we are using the trick where this is an this thing at the very end is an cause an odd number. So it's 29. Problem is where do you put the bunny? Uh, I don't know. Oh, I got this, but it's not very good. Like it's it's funny that this is the only square where they can intersect, but otherwise it's really not taking advantage of it again because there's no odd number in here. Okay, what if I had like a bunny go here? in here so that like this would be uh, you're using the trick to make that an, e an odd number cycle and then hey look at that okay well that wait this is still definitely gonna work wait what there's one where it hits the corner one where it doesn't oh my god and also it takes a while for the bunnies to keep respawning into the whoa okay i think <laughs> we're suddenly at 132 I love that the one in the corner doesn't do anything. Now, I don't know like if my button placement is bad or if I could improve this at all. Like probably my button placement is not the best. For 134, it's not much different. Okay. Hmm. Like could you do that and then hide it? Uh no, not possible. Okay. Hmm. Like well, this is a 11 times 16 cycle. So we have about 40 more of improvements just by moving bunnies, theoretically. I could probably stand to move that as well. Uh, well, I don't know. I was thinking of doing something like this. Because it's still an odd number, but maybe it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Not that it fails to make bunnies, just that the bunnies don't manage to hit the button. So this is 13, I think. Okay, this is annoying because it's 122 with the current placement, I, which is not better. I found a bu this bunny pairing, like, tested it and it hits at 100. It intersects at 100, so that should be better. Although, kind of underperforms my expectations of 13 times 16. So I wonder what I'm doing wrong, but here it is. Let's see if that hits more than... Okay, 147. And that is... Steps required is 146, so that's not very nice. Kind of annoying, because surely I can just backtrack this to add more. Like, I don't remember, I don't know why I don't remember this about bunny cycle levels, but it's like, the bunny reproduction turn is that, so we want to have something as close as that as possible. So if they're just, like, facing away, I guess. Like, it's something that I really should have picked up more on, um, you know. But this is, okay, this is more than 100. 127, which still isn't really 16 times 13, but whatever. Cool. Next. Got this, and this is the final. What can you expect here? What can I expect here? I... By the way, have I ever pointed out that you can do this with the title screen? <laughs> like, try to operate the pendulum? <laughs> These things are still locked. I mean... Well... Only one last thing to do. This game is almost finished. While you're making all those boring regular dungeons, I've been creating the ultimate final dungeon of awesomeness. Please, please. I, I mentioned this way early on, I think. That the final level should be you having control over the characters. It's gonna be my masterpiece. My opus magnum, my pair box, my bo Oh my god. I just need you to put all these pieces in their- Really? All these pieces in their places. 
More like in their palaces. Anyway, I have a very special reward. <laughs> you know, there was a level in the trailer that I don't remember <laughs> being in the game. <laughs> it's just every puzzle element. Oh, this is a hell mess. With only one wall, too, and one portal. Man, I, I, I was hoping the one would be a half of a portal and you couldn't place it. This is five? Okay, so... <laughs> WTF. I thought we would finally have the double reverse in the title. So, like... We can have layers. The laser-like things are the most useful things here, but this is not enough. 17 moves. Could probably extend a little by dumping water here so that it needs to go around the side, but I guess the bunny would also add a lot. Probably need to use that toggle button as well, but there isn't that much room to go do a double back with it. I could have the bunny be on a path that takes forever to touch a button. The water could help with that as well. I don't know about this. This is a thing that gives all three of these effects to any character that's in it. It's like diagonal motion, phasing through walls. Weird that that one's in there. That feels like it significantly like gives power to the player, I guess. You would want to force the state of that button to be toggled if you're going to do that. So, okay. Bunny. Wait, well, no, no, no. Gosh. I think the bunny doesn't bounce on the wall. It's the water portal. I deliberately want to block this, uh... Well, it could also double back through the portal, too. So I could do, like, bunny here, lever here, down. So now, that sure takes a lot of time for that lever to be hit. Now, here's the problem. Now, you don't have many restrictions going for you right now. Also, there's no inactive laser that I can place. I can only place an active one. So... I mean, that could be a wall. I could place another... So that would hopefully force you to hit that infinite lever twice. Oh my god, it's more than twice! Okay, that was pretty good. That I had to hit that multiple times. Now, is there anything more I can do? Because, I mean, still have this, which... This technically acts like a wall. Well, it can act as a wall. We also have the coffin, which we haven't used. Another silly thing is how little the water actually contributes to this whole thing. This is so weird, because the other natural thing would be to block off the ending, but we're kind of limited on space. Like, it's already kind of encroaching on the carrot space. Like, there's an interesting idea of putting this button nearby this at first, so that the, like, the first activation turns on something for only, like, one frame. One frame. Like, one cycle. So the idea with that would be, like, notice that we don't have anything that turns, that requires it to be off. Like, we were able to delete this, and yet it still worked just due to this placement. But then we would, of course, want to use this button elsewhere. Not sure we have that right now, since the other side is a portal. Okay, so what about something like that? And then we can have... It's annoying that we have this laser that's still not used, but I can put that there, put the water here. And, um, that is not better. Why? I, I guess because you freaking touch the button early. The bunny is also immune to like all of this trapping nonsense too. Also, the thing I said at the beginning doesn't even like like when, in that other try doesn't even work because there's more efficiency in this. Like it already is like 53. It genuinely has to wait three times instead of you know two times. That's what do you mean my spaghetti is not working? I think it could fit like add like, just a little bit more by putting the coffin there. That adds some stalling to this moment. Kind, very little stalling, but it forces you to wait a little bit more in order for those ghosts to clear. I'm thinking of, like, having a wall and needing to teleport through it. That would be something. Because that would be something that forces it to turn back on. And I've been trying a lot of different things. They haven't panned out yet to make another cycle happen. I've been putting something on the top right. Like, it is kind of odd that the way I currently have it, it goes to the middle. Like, it, it, like, ends up here, which is closer to the carrot than if it was in a corner. I would like to use the trick that I found with the button. That would be cool. I don't know if I have the space for it, though. Like, even using this as the first, it's kind of funny. I don't know. Using that as the first blocker. It, all, it, it makes you question whether maybe it should look like this, where... Well, if it's going to look like this, why even have a lever? Also got the cheese where the bunny can be used to block it. 
What? what, what what's this bug? <laughs> Alright. Negative Oni and peaced out. No, wait, that's just what happens when there's no care. Okay, fine. I guess we never did that. Having no treasure, so the level wins instantly. <laughs> Like, I don't just want to, like, move around the water slightly or whatever. There should be another way to add a cycle somewhere. Well, this doesn't need to be in the top right. If I do that, wow, that would have been way easier. <laughs> if, you, if you just dump it here, you can put the lever here. It's also easier to do it this way, like, and then use the scroll wheel. The only level where the scroll wheel is better. And then, you have space for... Well, what if I put another layer of... This, I have the water that could go here, it doesn't matter. Um, and then you put the button here. So this, I think this is another layer because after this, it can't go on because it'll trigger this laser. So it needs to trigger, the bunny needs to trigger this infinite lever at the same time. Okay, that gets us to 67. We could also move this carrot. I think this carrot's not in the best position. Uh, but yeah, wow, that's uh, another another cycle but that seems to really spent the number of cycles cool number um we have technically we have this thing still mm. for some reason i really want to put this down even though the restrictions of this make it really hard to make this a blocker like the most logical place is here but then you get freaking wizard cheese by going through this wall i mean it's worth knowing that the laser cannot cheese it like you can't Wizard cheats through the laser, but still you can just walk around and it's not good. Dang, I'm been prototyping this solution. For some reason, it doesn't waste as much time here. I'm not quite sure why. But you even have the laser being on for a couple moments here. But it's less somehow, and we don't... We happen to be not using this, and we happen to be not using a trap. So maybe it's going to be better. Well, I was thinking, what? how could we bring the laser... Um, no, well, that's the move that I, thanks, subconscious, um, like, how could we add another trap to the carrot? And I was like, you could actually do that and have the water point down. So the water is still doing its job as, at being an obstacle, but yet this laser will be turned on by the end in a frustrating enough way that will need to be changed. So you got to go click that. And that is 73, three carrots. You to boss, you beat it boss, boss level. Cool. Without even using everything. <laughs> Maybe I should add one of these, I don't know. Yeah, I've been trying different- like, this is 72, um... Like, in theory, the coffin could give you a unique move. And, like, in that era, like, unique as in a diagonal move or something, and it's relevant because the coffin needs to be on. You could then hide a trap and then end with this trap, but I- so far I haven't been able to use it because you don't have enough room to lock any more of the level out. But, yeah, that's the final level, three carrots. There's, there may be a way to use the carrot that's like the coffin. God, I forgot what the hell this is called. Totem trap. Uh, you just, there should be a way to use the totem trap in a more clever way. Maybe that would get you a little bit more, but let's just go to the ending. <laughs> hey, we actually did it. I can't believe it. We made so many dungeons that every player has to buy tickets to skip dungeons because it takes literally years to finish all of them. You helped me a bit, didn't you? So here's a reward. A big shiny carrot for completing the game. It is all yours now. Enjoy. Very nice. So now we finally get to see the custom level section. Oh god, I get to see... <laughs> hey, look at that. There's some levels that have carrots. So now I get to finally see the levels that I have max score on. Okay, and like if I go back to a previous level... There's actually, wait, there's a four times speed mode now. <laughs> that, that's awesome that it's there. It's probably for like, ooh, and you, okay, and you get to see like the, the world best or whatever. I wonder if it should be like, is it even a good feature to give like a golden carrot if you're the first to get a record? This will require like servers saving at like every point, but yeah. Anyway, yeah, I think the battle is truly advanced now with the mega carrot. What do you mean it says 98%? Sure, sure, get, get, get out of here. Goodbye, chess battle advance.